Between the abundance and the quality of skate parks now, it's so much different than it used to be. It used to be there were a bunch of parks and only a handful of good ones, and now most of them are pretty good. Skate parks used to be very segregated. You have the bowl over here, you have the snake run over here, and now it's all weaved together. The evolution of the park series and park skating in general came from the skater's do-it-yourself attitude. Places like Burnside, places like FDR, a lot of the different ramps and stuff were just built because that's where they had to make it work. Just creating it in between pillars or in the overpass, it's not that they wanted to design like that, it just became that. And I feel like that's how we've gotten to where we are with the park series in terms of it being a hybrid of vert and street and pool all in one thing. And you've got to be an all-terrain skater to be able to do that. When skate contests started getting bigger and prize money was huge, my biggest complaint to all those events were that you're bringing skateboarding to the city, you're building this magnificent facility, and then you're tearing it down and leaving. And you're leaving the people there with nothing. So now to see that Vans has stepped up to literally leave the park that they build there at four out of the five events is huge. And I think it's the perfect way to show that you're supporting skateboarding in a much bigger way than just holding an event and giving away a bunch of money. I hope that skateboarding is just one of those sports that has the same amount of facilities as soccer or baseball or basketball or football. And I'm talking about internationally, in, in every country. I think we're on our way there. <laughs>